the extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can quickly load custom shapes into Photoshop Elements version 13. Photoshop Elements 13. Now if you've only just got Photoshop Elements 13 then it will just be the open command. But you can, if you've got a list obviously you've got other ones, it might be there. So just select the there, click and now it's loaded into the custom shapes tool and I've just got over here custom shapes tool. Just go down here you've got all the various rectangle etc rounded rectangle tool but here's the custom shape tool and just select here and there you have you've actually got the uh, various shapes just been stored all the various cross shapes x shapes x letter shapes now also you can use them in the next tool down here I'm just going to go down to the crop tool and you'll notice the crop tool you've actually got it shared now with the cookie cutter so you can select that there's the cookie cutter and you can see the X or diagonal, whatever you want to call them, shapes are actually still there as well. So right, I'm just after that, just going to actually quickly show you the use. So just select one there and just drag across there, and that will cut image as before. And you can do all the various things like uh, constrain proportions, change the angle, rotate it around. I'm just going to cancel that. I'm also going to next do is actually add a custom shape. Just to quickly show you, you can actually add custom shapes and it's just going to be added. Just a standard shape just there. It's a layer so you can actually move it around. So once you've actually got that, you can move that, position it again. Obviously resize it and rotate it and also apply effects as well. So I'm just going to just go to the custom shape tool and there's rasterize as well. Let's just do that. So I'm undo simplify layer. You can actually also go down over here, click to open the style picker. So if you actually got some various styles, bevel, image effects, inner glows, etc. I'm just going to go for the chrome option and just apply the chrome to the design. I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest.